Just a moment, everybody. Welcome to uh, Stardew Valley. I am trying something new and revolutionary today. That is, I'm playing the game <laughs> under my blank. Or I have my controller under the blanket to make it well more quiet. So, welcome. Uh, I also have my phone inside of a sock to act as a pop filter. The weather, beautiful and sunny. Fortune, the spirits are in good humor. Living at land, get your hands on a fishing pole. Uh, yeah, okay. This is mostly to make my editing easier because in the waveform of the video, I, it's hard for me to distinguish the difference between. Uh, when I'm talking sometimes and when I, when the controller is just going you know. So that's why I have this pop filter on today. And that's why I'm wearing this blanket on my controller. It's not the best gaming position, but it's also not the worst. So how has everybody's day been going? Mine has been pretty good. I just calculated that I have walked wait, that's not right. That I have walked 300 kilometers during this summer. Isn't that crazy? That's um That's like 180 miles. I guess it's not that much, to be honest. I mean to some of you it may seem a lot, but what? You know, a, a dwarf's cold tree will liven things up here. That's a very odd and specific uh, ask. But sure, why not? I think I even have one. Hey, I had this, I had the gut feeling that, oh, it might be, there might be some, some reason to keep those around. But it seems like out of all the dwarf scrolls, that is one that I don't have. Well, god damn it. Maybe it's in here. No. Ooh, it's kinda of getting hot under the blanket. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something. Try something. Ouch, 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 ouch. Don't stretch the fabric. I want to break my blanket. Let's try my shirt. Uh, it might be a little bit easier. I mean, it doesn't. It definitely doesn't muffle as much, but uh, it's a little bit easier at least. I wonder how professional YouTubers do it. I could also keep my... I could get real close to the monitor and keep the um, controller under the table. That might also help. This is all for your viewing experience. And to make my life easier. But would you feel better if I told it was all for you? Oh, my tea leaves are ready. What is this? Who's planted these? They aren't supposed to be there. Oh, look at this grass. So much hay. I think grass spreads out from a point. So I'm just gonna leave uh, it standing in many places that way. That way. It will spread out from there once again. Where would one find a dwarf scroll tree? Hmm. No. 27 crops already. So the plan today, well, I'll be honest, I don't really have a plan for today. So I guess I'll just do whatever. That's the wrong type of tree. Or is it? I don't know. Just in case it is not, I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> I will also be moving back to the one day per per episode. 
format because that's again just easier for me. What did the what did the thing want? Oh yeah, wild horse radish. Let's bring one wild horse radish. Hmm. Oh, you're taking photographs. I didn't know you were very into this stuff. Haley's too involved with her cover camera to notice you. I took a picture of me bashing the... Oh, spring onions. Okay, here's the wild horse radish. Oh, uh, what's that? I can't actually quite tell what that is. Ooh, a dandelion. No, no. Okay, let's go check what that was. It was a... It looked very weird. Let's see if I can... It could have been this. It was some sort of bowl. Oh, it's this. Stuffing, so I need bread. Well, bread is easy to make. Where did the horse... There you are. Where did the horse go? What the dog doing? Kale. One of my least favorite things. Or was it cabbage? I don't quite know. Okay, what's the closest way? Okay, there's a... Yeah, okay, so there's a... This thing. Here you go! Urgh. You still want more? Now it's a vegetable medley. I just wish I kind of could know what he wants next. Man, it's a terrifically interesting episode, isn't it? It's me feeding this raccoon thing more. More extravagant food. How much? Like, I, it wasn't the rule of three, apparently. No, there weren't three stages to this boss. There's, there's four right now. Let's see if there will be even more. I think I have a vegetable medley over here. Well, let's just ride right back. Exciting stuff. No, please, what else? Now he's fat and happy. Don't jump, don't do it. The trash will disappear. Wow. Why didn't you do that earlier? What? Oh, okay. Something else? No? He just made the dog's life, life better. Okay, cool, I, I guess. Back again, I suppose it does feed into my theory of human behavior. What does? Sorry horse, but it does say you are a wise and loyal horse, so you'll make it back on your own. And the dog is there, but it sure does look scarier now. Oh, somebody... It's Pam's yard, finally clean. Well, good for her. Couldn't bother to do it by herself, I needed to feed a magical raccoon. Yep, I can do that. Do I have anything that I can plant? Well, I still have some potatoes left. It might be like just, just there if it will grow before summer. I don't, I don't quite know how it works. Next day I'll buy some parsnip, I think, that or garlic that grows in four days. So I'll get that done still before... Uh, Summer sets in. Okay, so today's episode was just me feeding a magical raccoon over and over uh, so he will, will clean the nearby nearby seafront and Pam's front yard and get the dog a better house and then as long as I that I didn't really do absolutely anything. Good night everybody and I'll be seeing you. The episode will end after you say the spreadsheet of today's profits. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you for watching. I need to take my phone out of the sock. Goodbye.